The latest viral food trend taking over the internet. If you love burgers and you love tacos, you no longer have to make that painful choice between the two. <laughs> Enter the Smash Burger Taco. Take a look. It's two classic foods combined to make a total smash. Smash Burger Tacos are hitting the streets. Cheeseburger plus taco equals the Smash Burger Taco. Smash it down. Gonna make the viral smash burger tacos. The latest social media craze garnering over 451 million views on TikTok. Even celebs getting in on the trend. Look how beautiful this looks. No matter how you top your taco, it's all about the smash. I will never eat a taco any other way. All right, we had to just try this out for ourselves. So we called in some experts. The winners of our United States of Burgers competition, rapper and businessman Bun B is here, as well as Chef Mike Pham from Houston's Trill Burgers. Welcome back to GMA, guys. Thank you. Yes, it's, it's good, good to be back. Absolutely. And we say you're back because, of course, you had the big, you won the competition, the burger competition a year ago. Yes. Right? We got some fans here. How did that help out business? I mean, it, we took off like gangbusters. I mean, the first pop up that we did after winning here at GMA, it was like really overwhelming. And we'd scaled up everything, anticipating a big rush, but we had no idea how big of a rush it was gonna be. And even today, we're at our two month mark of being open as a brick and mortar. And every single day, we have a line outside of people waiting to try that Trill Burger. And obviously that comes from you guys. Incredible, I'll tell you, the smell is just wafting through the building here. Yeah. Uh, also should mention, uh, Bun, you're a rap legend, one of the most well-known people in Houston. I understand you're getting a lot of celebrities coming by the burger joint as well. Yeah, we're very lucky. I have some really cool friends. Yeah. And uh, they, <laughs> they typically have a good appetite. And we've been able to, to cater to a lot of great people, of course. People have seen Drake come by the store, which is a huge deal for not only us, but our customers. Like Ludacris came by while he was in town. Uh, probably the biggest thing that we've had in the store was Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson is the same person to everybody. So everybody gets that same experience when they see him. So it's really cool to have that kind of support from that level of print. Very exciting. All right, let's talk about the Smash Burger Taco. Yes. Mike, you're going to walk us through it. Yes. How do we get started here? Right, so we're going to let's start with our all beef patty, which is our uh, balled up mm -hmm. right now. We're going to get a nice tortilla. Oh, right here, chef. We're going to get a tortilla right centered right over the ball. Yeah. We're going to get it nicely centered. We're going to get our press out. We're going to put a nice firm press right over the center. Yeah, all right. We're going to distribute that. We want to get it close to the edges as possible. It's going to come you in. you got to put some muscle into that, right? Yeah. Okay. He's got more than you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to let that cook. So then what happens after the, the, the crispy sear? You flip yep. it. What's the next step? Flip that patty, you add a slice of cheese to it. Mm -hmm. Let that cheese melt over the patty and then you start dressing it. All right, let's, then let's move on to the toppings. How do All we right, do that? Awesome. All right, so we've got a finished product here. We're gonna move it over to the plate. Okay. All right, so for this recipe, we wanna do it a little bit different than what's going on out there. Uh, we got a house-made mac and cheese. Um, you wanna tell us a little bit about the mac yeah, and cheese? Yeah, did you say, so we got a burger, we got a taco and mac and cheese? Yeah, well, on? mac and cheese is the topping on Okay. Here. And this is with uh, sharp cheddar and it's hand grated. Okay. Um, so the chef grates the cheese himself uh, with the sharp cheddar and then he adds a little bit of mild cheddar as well. Because um, we really want the mac and cheese to stand out. Now, you can make it how you choose to make it at home, but you want a really, really good flavor balance. Because again, we also have American cheese on there. So the sharp mixed with the mild mixed with the American makes a great cheese. Love flavor. it. All right, we got some taste testers in the house Ooh, going yeah. to work here. <laughs> uh, before we get their take, though, <laughs> we're going to go to Eva while she's got a full mouth and ask her questions. Uh, tell us about the rest of the toppings, the special yes. sauce here, too. So we got our special sauce here. It's mm -hmm. really a catch and mayo blend uh, with some chopped up pickles in it as well. Um, it's a great sauce that can go on any any dish, um, mostly mainly burgers, but you can put on a taco or even a hot dog. Can I help you? Can I? Can of we, course. You know, put let's the razzle ahead, dazzle let's on go the and smash drill burger some taco. Sauce on. So put some with. sauce. Yeah. I'm a sauce guy. So awesome. is there like a, a no, limit? Don't be stingy. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's sauce it up. All right. There you go. Yep. And we're gonna finish off with some. Uh, um, Breadcrumbs that we can toasted I in butter. Salt bay style. Salt bay. Okay, yeah, there we go. This to give a nice mm -hmm. texture mm -hmm. contrast. I like that. I like and that. And then we got some chopped bacon. A little bacon. Okay. Yep. Ooh, I'm aching for the bacon. All right. Next. <laughs> and then we finish off with some fresh onions. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Gotta, All right. Gotta have a little crispy crunch there. Okay. 
All right, and you're hired. And we're hired. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, taste okay. testers, how are we doing over here? A plus. Oh, you got in? yours folded. I, I like the different unfolded. style. Is there a? Do you fold it or do you go tostada no, style? You or does it matter? Fold it. Fold it. Fold. Fold. But you can go yeah. tostada style. I couldn't All right. find a fold. We got, we got like a bit of both fold. over there. <laughs> but I got to ask you too. While we're going to work on the food here, you know, 50th anniversary of hip hip yes. hop. What does that mean to you? Do you plan to incorporate anything special with the business as well? Well, I mean, this this brand is not just a culinary brand. It's a cultural brand. Yeah. So it's got all of my hip-hop cultural equity imbued into this brand. So it's at this point, it's inseparable from me and my career. But to myself be recording and presenting music for over 30-plus years, to be at a higher profile than I was when I started, people have to remember, 50 years ago, hip-hop was considered a fad. No. It was just a trend that they thought would go away in a couple of years. And here we are 50 years later yeah. doing sold-out concerts concerts with Run DMC and Yankee Stadium. It's a great thing to be a part of hip-hop culture right now. Love it. I've been such a fan of your music for so many years, and now doing this, is I, that he, I, can, he can do it all. Yeah, we need you to be a fan of this. Talk Excellent. Club. Excellent. Well, we're going to get to that. Of course, you can scan the thank you guys so much for coming in. Again, we thank appreciate you, it. Scan the code on the screen to get this recipe at GoodMorningAmerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.